After you have installed the add-in, go to add-in tab and there you can find a rename elements panel. Under the drop down button you can find two commands, rename and settings. Let's click on the rename command and this opens a rename dialog. Here you can see that we can rename 162 types. We have seven duplicate names that will not be renamed. And here you can see the category of the elements, the family, name of the elements that is going to be renamed, the old name, the new name, and the name validity check if the name is valid or will it create some kind of errors. Now we can see that the old names are with inches and the new names are with feet. And we can see that the feet is used for all the units in all the names in this list, but we can easily fix that. Let's cancel out this dialog. And this happens because the rename element add-in by default uses the length units that is set in the document. And here you can see that it's set to feet, and we can change that by going back to rename elements settings. And here in the settings dialog, you can change the categories that is going to be renamed parameters for door windows and columns, parameters for field regions, and parameters for dimensions, text notes, model text, spot elevations, and spot coordinates. And lastly, we have a name properties and name preview group. In the name preview, you can see the preview of the names for all the categories for the doors, for the windows, and all other categories. And you can see here that for the doors and for all the elements, the length is in feet. So we can change that by changing name properties units to let's say fractional inches, and let's set the unit symbol to inches. And now you can see that the name preview changes to the fractional inches. And here we can also set a separator character, let's say underscore, and here you can see that the name preview again changes. And I like to set it to none. And we can also set prefix or suffix. Let's say suffix and suffix identificator. Let's say three dots. Here you can see that the suffix will be added to the end of a new name. And I'll show you how to use that in a bit. So let's click OK. And the settings are saved. And now we can see that the new name have inches exactly as we wanted to so now let's scroll down and see what we can do with these names that don't have a width or height parameter like this access door so what we can do we can add a type description to this type and that type description will be added to the new name so let's cancel that let's find our door and here we have a overhead rolling doors and let's double click on that and add new type description access door now let's click ok and when we click on the rename command again we can see that the type description is added to the new name And you can do that also for the curtain wall doors that also don't have width and height parameters. And when we click OK, all 159 types are being renamed. And all the family types that have invalid names will stay with the old name. So here we can see that all the doors have new names. And when we click on the rename command again, we can see that we have seven duplicate names. And we can easily fix that by adding type description as I showed before. But text note types and spot elevations don't have type descriptions. So we can add prefix or suffix to these new names. So let's do that to this no symbol spot elevation. Let's click cancel and let's go to the floor plans. And let's add a spot elevation. Here we can see our spot elevations all have new names, but these three ones. Let's select this top one with the name no symbol. Let's edit type. And we can rename that and add a suffix. Simply add three dots or the identificator. 
and let's go back to add and rename and here you can see that the suffix with no symbol project is added to the new name so when we click ok and create elevation again we can see that this spot elevation have a new name with the prefix no symbol we don't need this project because it's already added and we can do the same add the prefix for the other spot elevations that it will have duplicate name like these two in the bottom let's select this one and let's edit type rename add three dots the suffix identificator remove the project and let's do that for the other one remove the project add three dots okay okay and let's click on rename and here we can see that now the names are valid and the suffix are added and let's click OK to rename these spot elevations. So let's go back to settings. And here you can hover over the properties to read a tooltip information about what properties are used and how they're used in renaming the family types. And you can check and uncheck these properties and see the name preview changes down below. And that way you can see how these properties are affecting the new name. And now I will show you everyday usage scenario for this add-in. You can go to options, user interface, and keyboard shortcuts, and you can add a shortcut for this rename command. Let's find it by typing rename. And we can easily add any shortcut that we want to this rename command. Let's say R N M. Let's assign that. Okay, okay. And now when we let's say we select these doors, we place another door here. And now we want to duplicate that family type. We just click duplicate, no need to rename anything. We just change these parameters. Let's say four feet. Okay. Let's type R and M. Okay. And here we can see that we have our new name 48 inches. Let's click OK. And that's it. Now you don't have to worry about family type names ever again. And I hope this add in helps. And have a great day.